<clears throat> Good evening, everyone. I hope I'm finding you well this evening and uh, that your week hasn't been too completely insane. I know that at the moment things are sometimes a little bit hectic and sometimes a little bit crazy. And this evening I wanted to kind of challenge you as I am challenged myself. But the concept of pennies and people, I think it's the two biggest things that consume the largest part of our mind. What are people saying? What are people thinking? How are they responding? What do they say about me? What do they think about me? And then obviously pennies. Will I have enough money? Can I afford this? When will I ever be able to achieve? <clears throat> How could I ever possibly have a home, own a car, buy a new pair of shoes, whatever it might be? There's always these areas of concern that we have in our lives and they, and they tend to kind of consume us. I think we live in such a world that's so driven by a consumerist culture. Uh, we, social media is perhaps a prime example. We see so many things that we think, wow, I want that, I want that, I want that. But the truth of the matter is we can only really have one thing. As a wise friend of mine always said and taught me that you can't chase two rabbits. You'll always lose both. There's this habit that we have of seeking more and more and more. And the truth of the matter is you have two hands and you can really only hold two things. And in all honesty, maybe put your focus uh, properly, at least on one. At the end of the day, we are really to be focused on our eternal reality rather than our material short term reality. You know, the Lord provides and, and it seems like such a cliche. But the truth of the matter is that he does in every single way and in every single circumstance. When we put him first, he provides for us. It's kind of like the scripture that tells us that seek first the kingdom of heaven and all these things will be added to you. In fact, the writer of the book of Hebrews gives us the same recommendation, the same assert, assertion. In Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5 and 6, he says, Your life should be free from the love of money and be satisfied with what you have. And he goes on to say, The Lord is my helper and I will not be afraid. I will not be nervous, uncertain, confused, hopeless, or lost. If you take stock of your life right now and think very, very carefully, have you eaten today? Will you prospectively eat tomorrow? Have you got a bed to sleep in? Have you got the prospect of sleeping in a bed tomorrow? Is the likelihood that you'll have some running water to have a shower and a wash? Perhaps even the device you're watching this video on. You are blessed. Beyond imagination, more than a third of the world doesn't even have a flushing toilet. So many times, in too many ways, we get too many too caught up with pennies and people. And I want to just encourage you with this tonight. Face your eyes on Christ. Let the Lord lead you. Let the Lord guide you. Bring your offering to His storehouse and let Him do the rest. May the Lord bless you.